Hey twirlers, my name is Mackenzie Ross and today I'm going to show you a 32 count beginner two baton section. So today I will start by showing you the section from start to finish and then we will get on with the tutorial. To get started with this section, you're going to want to have both the batons in your right hand. From here, you can start with any opening pose which you like. You'll pull out and begin with a flourish. Then you're going to release one baton at your belly button and finish out with a flourish in the other hand. So that should look like this. From here, you're going to do a flourish, backhand flip, flourish. So with the counts, it should look something like this. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. And that's your first eight counts. From here, we're going to turn to the side, reverse figure eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's your second set of eight counts. So from the top, it should look something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next, we're going to turn to the back. We'll start with a left hand thumb flip along the back and we're going to toss the thumb flip here and pass the right baton over our head and finish it with a flourish here as we catch the batons with our right hand. So that should look something like this. One, two, three, four. We're going to finish turning out to the front. Five, six, flourish back and flip flourish seven eight from here we're going to slide both of our hands to the ends of the batons as we whip down turning to the side one two three four bring your baton up wrist roll down at the same time turn back to the front flourish we're going to do a big ending trick toss pass flourish catch finish with your favorite pose all you have to do now is get practicing so turn on your favorite practice song and let's get twirling. Hey twirlers, today I'm going to show you an advanced two baton section which utilizes dual direction in tight contact. The section looks like this. The easiest way to break down the section is to show you one baton at a time. So in the left hand, you're going to start with a reverse hand roll as the right hand does an arm roll, catching it backhand on this side of your arm. So that should happen at the same time looking like this. From here, the right hand is going to do an open hand toss under your arm. So that will look something like this. So as this baton is in the air, you're going to grab the baton in your left hand with your right. You're going to want to grab it palm up and swing down over your toes so that your hand is at the end of the baton and you're going to do a hand roll behind your head. From here, you're going to toss the baton up behind your back with the goal of having it land on the left hand side of your body so that you can easily catch it backhand. So that should look something like this. So that whole hand would look something like this. Do here. While all that is happening, you still have one baton in the air. You're going to want to catch that baton in your left hand at the same time that you're moving up to do your hand roll. right here. Altogether, it should look like this. If you're having fun with this section, you can play around with ways to catch that final backhand toss. You could catch it Fujimi or you could catch it under a kick. Something else fun to do is to integrate that section into your three baton routine. 